Hi, this is Trace HD, and I want to thank you for joining me today for our August 2020 tarot reading. This will be for the sign of Taurus. As I shuffle the deck, I'm asking all light beings, angels, and God, please relay the message I need to share with my viewers the highest good of all. Beginning of the month, I'm going to take a card from the top. Middle of the month, I'm going to take a card from the center. At the end of the month, I'm going to take a card from the bottom. Okay, Taurus, so what do we have here? Well, we start out the month here with the Three of Swords. Now, this may be just a temporary separation from someone. It could just be a temporary disappointment in someone or something. Um, a little bit of heartache in the beginning of the month, disappointment, but this is not something that's going to last. And we all go through this, okay? Um, if we didn't have these hard times, we wouldn't realize how good the good times are. So with this, it could just be maybe a quarrel with someone that you're going to have. It doesn't need to be anything that's gut wrenching and, and, you know, heartbreaking to the point where it changes your life forever. This is just maybe even feeling some anxiety in the beginning of the month. You may be feeling very anxious. Or like I said, it could be some type of upheaval that you have with maybe a friend or family member or maybe at work. Uh, whatever it is, this is not going to last, okay? Um, this is maybe something that needs to happen in order to clear the air. Um, it could just maybe be somebody traveling for work, okay? It doesn't necessarily mean something that's going to be permanent. It could be just a temporary separation, a temporary you know, uh, break from, how could I say, a separation where maybe you're going to be transferred to a different location for your job, but it's not a permanent relocation. It could be something like that, or someone close to you uh, may be separated from you for job-related reasons, or, you know, maybe someone's going away to college. It could be someone leaving for school. Uh, whatever it is, okay, it's going to clear the air and it's going to pass. So just be aware that for some of you, you know, this is going to be something that is necessary, okay, and it's not going to be something that you can't get through. And like I said, we all go through this, you know, it's, it's unavoidable, you know, not to have quarrels or upheavals with people, but sometimes it's for the best because then everything's out in the open and you could clear the air, or it may be just some type of nervousness or anxiety or feeling for some reason in the beginning of the month. And then in the middle of the month, we have the six of cups. So this is possible that someone from your past is going to be returning. OK, this could be someone that you went to school with. You run into an old friend spontaneously or this could be a past lover or it could be someone in your family, maybe somebody you knew as a child. We have these two beautiful children here and they're surrounded by these six cups of all of these beautiful flowers. So there's going to be some kind of a reunion. Um, and since the cups are our emotions, it's going to have some type of emotional bearing on you. Maybe it's just you thinking back to the past. Maybe it's not necessarily a person coming back, but maybe your thoughts are drifting back to the past. And, you know, maybe you're feeling very nostalgic. OK, or maybe you're feeling stuck in the past. And, you know, we can't go forward if we keep looking back. So take the good memories you have and move forward with it, with the lessons that you've learned. And then at the end of the month, we have the Knight of Pentacles. So this could be a person who is coming in to you, um, or this could be just an energy at the end of the month. It's a very slow moving energy. Whatever it is, the Knight of Pentacles is a very thorough person. They may move slowly, but they do get to their goal. Okay. Um, this is someone who is very patient. Okay. Who is willing to put in whatever time and effort it takes to accomplish whatever it is they set out to accomplish. Uh, but this is not someone that comes, you know, rushing in like the Knight of Wands or the, the Knight of Swords. This is a, a pentacle, a very earthy sign that you might be dealing with. It could be Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. Okay, so be aware that at the end of the month, if, you know, things slow down for you and things aren't moving as, as fast as you would like them to, you know, you will get to where you need to go, okay? 
Um, this could also be that the knights bring in messages too. So this could be um, maybe something coming in at your job where you're going to be bringing in more money. Okay. Um, but whatever it is, it's a sign that you are going to get something for your efforts and your hard work. You are going to attain your goal, even though it may be a slow go and a slow moving energy at the end of the month, you will eventually be able to bring in whatever this night is bringing to you. And this could be anything from more work, money, love, but it's a slow moving um, thing. So, uh, you know, just, just be patient. And I, I know patience isn't my <laughs> greatest quality. I want everything yesterday, but uh, just know that whatever it is that you're working hard towards, you will be rewarded for your efforts. And, you know, most of the earth signs that I know, uh, and depending upon what other signs they have in their chart, what other planets and things, um, they're very hardworking and diligent. They work very steadily. They may work slower, but they make sure that all of the details are taken care of. Um, and they eventually gain whatever it is that they put their mind to. So whatever it is, just have patience with yourself at the end of the month. Very interesting month for you. If you've enjoyed this reading, please like it by giving it a thumbs up, share it, and above all, subscribe because I will be back with more.